A group of local volunteers are putting their love of running to the ultimate test. Now they're taking part in a four-day relay run across the state of South Dakota. In tonight's Eye on Catalan, Tom Hansen explains what the runners hope to accomplish during this trek. It's called the 437 Project. A group of 12 runners will cover 437 miles while running from Belfouche to Sioux Falls on September 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. So it will be relay style. We will always have a runner running. Every one of us will be running uh, 10 miles at a time, a total of about 40 miles per runner. Through the night, into the morning, all weather conditions, we're prepared to do it all. We will continuously run from Thursday morning until we get back to Sioux Falls on on Sunday morning. Kelly Marshall, Greg Koch, and 10 other runners will take on the challenge. Those in the group all have three things in common, a love of running, concern for those facing mental health challenges, and the ability to do something about it. Mental health became a much bigger issue during COVID, and interestingly enough, there have been several of us who signed on for the project and since that time have had a personal impact of death by suicide, and it's become much more meaningful than we ever could have even imagined. The idea for the 437 project came from Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhaken, a runner himself. In my role as mayor, I'm exposed to things that maybe the general public doesn't see or know about. I'm just starting to see what a challenge this topic is statewide. And so um, a run across the state through communities, through farmlands, ranches that are all affected by issues of mental and behavioral health uh, challenges, I think made a lot of sense. And that's how it was born. The mayor recruited runners, including Coke, who owns 605 Running Company. The chance to experience our whole state is pretty amazing. And, you know, that's really why we got involved with the Helpline Center is the Helpline covers the whole state. Benson Langett is a clinical therapist and says people from all walks of life face mental health challenges. So many people are struggling and you don't know who it is. Um, Sometimes you may shake somebody's hand, you may not know what they're struggling with. The mayor says the Helpline Center needs more help than ever because last month they started answering the 988 crisis calls. So that means the Helpline Center is seeing more call volume, uh, more training, more resources that they're having to dedicate because of that work. So our funds will help them in their mission to help people in South Dakota that are dealing with mental health challenges and suicidal tendencies. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Tom Hansen. To donate or become a sponsor, we've set up a link with this story on kelloland.com.